Hey, Booger Sugars, it's me, Keisha, and I'm here with my Fashion Killer 2024 NAACP Image Award Red Carpet Looks Review Video. Are y'all ready to get into the fashion? I am. Let's get it. Let's go. Andra Day hit the red carpet wearing Neem Khan NYC, and this is a great look. You know, we recently just saw her at the Essence Black Women in Hollywood event, and I liked her outfit. It was by George Abika, but I didn't really like the wig that she paired with it. I'm so happy that she's back to wearing her natural hair, wearing these braids. This beautiful blue dress is phenomenal. I mean, she just looks so tall and statuesque. I love this feathered coat with it the gloves she looks stunningly beautiful like Andre day is gorgeous she is a gorgeous woman and this look is chef's kiss i love it fashion killer tisha campbell wore a dress by stylist jay bolin and i like this i'm not in love with it but i like it i think she looks beautiful y'all know tisha campbell had been looking a mess for like the last 10 years but ever since she got with jay bowling for the emmys this year she has stepped it up the hair the makeup the jewelry i love she looks so beautiful the dress for me i feel like um the sash around the waist is a little bit too high up for me um the pattern is cool you know it's kind of giving like that african vibe a little bit but overall she looks gorgeous i just wish that the sash would have been brought down more on her waist and gave her more of a waistline to me it's making her look like a christmas tree <laughs> but she still looks beautiful so i'm gonna give her a fashion fine my girl kiki palmer wore tom ford and dolce and gabbana this makes my heart go pitter patter this is so me. This is something that I would wear. I love to see a woman in a men's tuxedo. It is so sexy to me. And Kiki pulled this off. I love that she had her hair pulled back in this little bun. The makeup, honey. Yes, for the eyes and the eyeshadow and the lashes. She looks fabulous. I'm loving the cane of it all. This reminds me of Marlena Dietrich. If you are young and don't know who I'm talking about, Google Marlena Dietrich and you will get your life. Kiki did the doggone thing. This is a fashion killer. Vivica Fox attended the show and she is wearing EC Zinzibar, Prada heels, and candy ice jewelry. This is a lot of lace for me. Um yeah the neckline is reminding me of like a prom dress from the 80s actually the whole thing is giving me very 80s like i don't know how to feel about this at all and on the carpet it looked worse <laughs> to be honest with you it looked better once like i said when she took her photograph at home and they could photoshop it and do some filters it looked cool but the red carpet she kind of looked a little stuffed and the pattern is just not cute i don't like this roll kill queen charlotte star india amartafio wore tulu coker i hope i'm pronouncing that right this is very cute it's so different i haven't seen anybody in anything like this um it's giving me gangster vibes. It's giving, you know, old Hollywood vibe with the hat and everything. It looked really good on camera when she won her award. I like that she had her hair braided underneath. She looks really chic and cutthroat. I like this. It's different. Fashion killer. Carrie Washington wore Vivian Westwood. I love this dress. I really do. This sage green is so beautiful on her skin. You know, Vivian Westwood can do a corset like nobody's business, honey. And the draping on this is just magical. She looks beautiful. She's kind of giving me like a Lena Horn, Diane Carroll type of vibe with this look. She looks really pretty. Fashion killer. Fantasia! Wow! Wore custom Monet. Monat. I don't know how to pronounce that. M-O-N-O-T. And... Once again, this girl 
has not lost this whole award season. Another banger, another banger from her and her stylist. This white dress fits her perfectly. I'm loving this big black sequin bow on the back and the matching um, opera gloves. Fantasia just looks sexy. She looked like a woman, honey. <laughs> she looked like a woman, like somebody's wife and mama. She looks fantastic. Everything about this is exquisite. I am obsessed. Fantasia has really stepped into her fashion game. She has become a fashion girl, and I am here for it. Fashion killer. This is one of my favorite looks of the night. Quinta Bronson wore Neem Khan NYC as well, and I hate her style for this whole award season. She has not worn anything that was fire. I hate that whatever happened between her and the stylist that she had last year, I don't know what happened between them, why they fell out, why she's no longer working with them, but this new stylist sucks balls. This is so matronly and boring there's no jewelry it's just there the makeup not popping the hair ain't doing nothing like what is this like girl bye boo road kill it looked like she about to go take a nap goodbye quinta yara shahidi stepped out the house in ferragamo we haven't really seen her at all during this award season but she has made up for it i love this dress i'm loving this shiny black leather or patent leather whatever this is at the top with the flowiness of the um skirt yes it's edgy I love the way it fits her body. I love her hair being up in this updo with the little ringlets. She looks beautiful. I mean, she's a stunningly gorgeous girl anyway. Like, I don't understand how she is not the face of a makeup line like L'Oreal or why she isn't the face of like a big designer house like Versace or something. Because like this girl and then that face, that face car will never decline. She is one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood. And she is just stunning. Fashion killer. Shirley Ralph is in one of my favorite designers, George Hobika. And she is styled by her daughter, Ivy Coco. This is just giving me Greta Garbo, Rita Hayworth realness. This really pretty, like, apple, green apple green is just so pretty i see a lot of people wearing green this is just whimsical it is beautiful and i mean this is the grand dame shirley ralph there isn't much that you can do to ever make her look a mess okay now she has had a couple uh like one or two little misses but normally it is a hit and this is another hit her daughter is the bomb i hope that she is able to start styling other people because she does a great job with her mother fashion killer now i thought that taraji's look from the oscars was fire okay but this look right here this look right here taraji has been on fire now two in a row back to back yes ma'am she is in delcor official and this uh, is phenomenal phenomenal tens across the board i mean <laughs> this braid that they have swiggled over her forehead like baby hair the necklace the body she looks good she looks healthy she looks refreshed girl goodbye ma'am goodbye you did that one of my faves of the night, fashion killer, Idris Elba and his wife, Sabrina, came to the show and she is in vintage Versace and she looks great. She really does. You know, when they first got together, she was a little bit heavier, but I see she slimmed down and she really has this like model-esque figure. She, I think she used to be a model or something like that, but she is beautiful beautiful and this brown dress really matches her skin tone and it's not taken away it's not like she's fading into the dress it actually looks like it's just oozing out of her skin like honey i like the hairdo how it's just like slick 
it's not really a lot done to it but it still looks done they match they look great together i like this fashion killer hallie and ddg hit the carpet together hallie was nominated um for a couple of awards but she did win for best picture for the color purple along with the other castmates and she came to the carpet and she is wearing i don't know who she's wearing it doesn't say but my issue with this dress i think it's a pretty dress An another green dress another green dress green was the color of the night but this dress was so ill-fitting in the boob area like every time she walked it was like sashaying <laughs> and moving left to right they had some a double stick tape to keep her boobs in but it just did not fit in the breast area she needed a um a half bra on she really honestly did or some type of like cups or something but it just did not fit in the boob era that was my biggest drawback with this dress but she looked pretty so i'm gonna give hallie a fashion fine in this picture you have shantae moore on the left and claudia jordan on the right and their dresses actually kind of mimic each other i will say out of the two i like shantae moore's dress a little bit better um even though i wish it wasn't so high up on her neck the pattern is cool. It's kind of giving 70s disco tech type of vibes. But Shantae Moore just looks beautiful. I mean, she is gorgeous. I mean, she is not aging a bit. So I'm going to give her a fashion fine. I'm not in love with it. Claudia's dress to me is very fashion over <laughs> it's very Shein. like you could literally find this dress on either one of those sites the split is awkward to me i don't like the shape of it at all i love her hair and the makeup but this dress i'm just not feeling the one sleeve it just kind of looked cheap so i'm gonna have to give claudia a road kill bro and Thede was there and this is cute but you know how like with what sabrina wore and i was saying how the color matched her skin tone with robin the top part of this dress is kind of like i'm losing her it's it's it, you see what I'm, i hope i'm being um explanatory what i'm trying to say but it's kind of like the tone of the dress at the top and her skin is kind of like fading into each other where you don't really see a separation like you did with sabrina's dress i really don't like the feathers around the neck um i'm seeing a lot of dresses though like this with feathers going around the hip area i would have liked it a little bit more if it was just either or either they would have had the feathers at the top and nothing around the middle or vice versa i love the bottom part of the dress i like how it's see-through if the top part would have been like that it would have been a lot a lot better if it was more see-through but um i like her makeup the hair is kind i don't really know what's going on with that i'm gonna have to give robin a fashion fine she kind of looked like a stack of hay <laughs> it's reminding me of the Wiz for some reason like she want to ease on down ease on down the road she remind me of michael jackson in the Wiz, like the scarecrow yeah mc light and danielle brooks arrived to the show and mc light <sighs> Uh, she probably was doing the, the announcements like she always do child they keep her up in that little dj booth just announcing mess i don't really like this dress at all it's just it's so late it really is it looks like she paid 60 dollars for it in the mall grabbed some shoes out her closet she already had had somebody come do her makeup but this is just it's so whack <laughs> there's like no other way for me to say that like it's no effort put into it it's like she going to the club versus the naacp award so i'm gonna have to give mc light a road kill danielle brooks love the hair love the curly cue going on the forehead her makeup looks really nice the dress is kind of boring you know on the boring side it's just a black look you know bodycon dress i like the gold bangles it's cute but it's it's boring i wish she would have done something a little bit more you know dressier something with a pop of color maybe this is a little you know on the eh, lazy side but she still looks pretty so i'm gonna give her a fashion killer my girl june ambrose actually won an award and she looks beautiful 
This dress reminds me of like a Carolina Herrera or Oscar de la Renta's type gown. This is really pretty. I like this floral pattern. She looks regal. I can honestly see like Michelle Obama wearing this dress. I really honestly could. Um, she typically does this updo with her hair. She really doesn't do much with her hair. But the dress is gorgeous. It's very stately. <laughs> Fashion killer. My baby daddy Damson Idris and Jabari Banks from uh, Fresh Prince were also there. Damson won for Best Actor in a Drama Series for Snowfall. His one and only award after being on that show for six seasons. Don't even get me started, but he just looks like a snack, honey. Oh, he don't even look like a snack. He look like a steak and some potatoes with broccoli on the side and a nice glass of Chardonnay. And I don't even drink wine, but he just looked like, oh fine wine that boy so fine that boy fine honey now i know we've been talking a lot here on this channel about older women dating younger men but i'm sorry if i ever got the opportunity i'm taking that look down okay fashion killer for him i'm pretty sure he's probably in prada because he's a prada ambassador jabari banks looks like um an extra from the matrix i'm really not feeling the high shoulders on this jacket nor am i feeling the bell bottom pants and the chunky boots it's just doing a lot you know it's very it's giving me smart guy remember this television show smart guy that's what this is giving me for some reason like that late 90s look and i ain't really vibing with it for him i'm giving him a road kill proud family star kyla pratt was doing red carpet hosting and i like her hair and the makeup you know she's gonna forever look like she 12 years old I, she will never age the dress to me it's giving dollop a daisy <laughs> ooh, ooh, a dollop a daisy like it's giving sour cream the bottom in this like bell like silhouette is it's, it's kind of heavy looking to me I'm not really vibing with the dress, but she's so beautiful, but I'm gonna have to give her a, a fashion fine because from the waist up, everything is great, but then from the waist down, it's giving saggy diaper. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, fashion fine. Natori Notten and her new husband were there and she is wearing Marquesa. I haven't seen anybody wear Marquesa in a minute. Oh, wow. And I haven't seen Natori on the red carpet in a while. You know, she had her son or whatever last year, but she looks really pretty. Another like green dress. Green was literally the color of the night. I love this on her. It fits her perfectly. I'm loving the neckline, the little rosette on the boob. She looks really, really good. Good. go ahead on the Tory. now her husband look a mess and them high water pants and then that oversized jacket he look a mess he look like he the fourth member of the group guy i hate his look but she looks great fashion killer for her y'all don't it look like her husband just want to break out saying groove me groove me baby babe tonight <laughs> received his entertainer of the year award wearing laquan smith and i'm seeing now for menswear this year wide leg bell bottom pants must be the new trend for men i think that usher is able to pull it off better than jabari because he looks more like a man it, it looks sexy on him you know what i'm saying with the unbuttoned shirt it's given like tom jones in the 70s performing in vegas but up to date you know he looks sexy he looked like a grown man you know if you're gonna wear something like that with like the the wide leg pants doing a chunky shoe dumbs it down you need to do a regular hard bottom and he looks good in this it's giving vegas singer on the strip it's giving rat pack he looks great fashion killer danity kane member don rashad wore a fair and don looks really pretty another green dress another green dress now these sleeves is giving me curtains it's giving my grandmama's um table linens for the dining room table i don't really know what's going on with these sleeves but she looks really pretty um it's not my fave as far as 
like the whole silhouette and design but she looks good one thing i can say about this dress is it elongates her and makes her look taller than what she is because don is a short girl and in this picture she looks like she could be about a good five eight so the dress part of it fashion killer them sleeves though road kill <laughs> child i'm so happy that award season is over because if i see oprah in another purple outfit i'm gonna lose my mind huh she is in christian siriano and this is a tuxedo dress it's velvet it's purple she's giving us the old oprah Winfrey hairdo from when she was on air it's cool you know i don't know if she about to fly a plane or what but it's just meh I, man it's just giving me old stuffy lady like she i don't like it <laughs> road kill like the look is very age appropriate but it's just very stuffy to me for some reason it's giving more banquet vibes than award show mm -mm. actress extraordinaire Anjanu ellis wore custom Giovanna lewis um mm, this was a choice a choice was made huh hmm this is very bright very spring-like uh yeah this is a, a no <laughs> she is stepping into spring honey but i i can't i don't i don't even is she wearing one of james brown old outfits I don't know what is going on with this, but this is a big no-no. This is a road kill. Like, the tires are screeching. It's so bad. Uh-uh. Woo! Queen Latifah hosted the show, and this is one of her many outfits from the night. This is her in Christian Siriano, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I hate this dookie brown color. I hate the oversized tie. It's too big look like in the waist area it's bunching up it's a heavy polyester this is atrocious like i know she was hot i know she was hot on that stage underneath them lights no ma'am mm -mm. roll kill all right t squad it is that time of the video let's get into my fashion killer picks for the 2024 NAACP Image Awards. So my fashion killer male award goes to Ursha Baby. Yes, he looked good. So good, I almost forgot that he supposedly got the hurt. <laughs> Allegedly, but he looked good. And my fashion killer award for the best dressed woman of the night goes to Kiki Palmer. When I tell you I am still gagging over this look, I mean, everything about it from the hair, the makeup, the jewelry, which was very minimal, the outfit, the cane was just top tier. This was fashion, okay? This was fashion. She killed it, okay? One of my favorite looks, not only of the night, but so far of the year. Fashion killer. And I gotta give it to Taraji. This canary yellow dress, it makes me happy. And she just looks so good. Like, I don't know what's going on in Taraji's life, but she looks great. So it was a tie for me. I could not choose between these two ladies. They both looked so good. And my roll kill award for the worst dressed man at the NAACP awards goes to Notori Notton's husband I just cannot get over this too big blazer the flooding pants the no socks the chain on he looked like a sleazy accountant from the 80s <laughs> I just don't like this at all it's giving me new jack city vibes boo no and the road kill award for the worst dressed woman at the naacp awards goes to anjanu ellis honey I, I i i'm just gagged i don't even have words for this <laughs> this is gonna give me a nightmare a psychedelic nightmare child uh -uh. i don't know what she had going on in her life but i needed her to take it down several notches child Woo! Y'all let me know what were your favorite and least favorite looks from this year's 
NAACP Image Awards. Let's talk about it. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.